What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, Low key season two, episode two. Let's talk about it. So, uh, this video is going to contain spoilers, so you have been warned. All right, so it skips a little bit from the previous episode. Now, Loki and Mobius are in 1977, where they have found the new, uh, the hunter, the male hunter from the previous episode, who now goes by the name of Brad. He is a movie actor in this uh, 1977 sacred timeline. And we learned that he abandoned his post. Uh, he found, he first found Sylvie, and then he abandoned his post to live the life that he never really had since his memories was wiped by the TVA. And then uh, we see a little bit of Loki actually using his powers to get, like to apprehend Brad in this time, which is like pretty cool to see, of course, because I feel like he's always been kind of like underutilized as a character or like his powers have not really been shown that much. And he's made to be like weaker than he really is maybe. So that was pretty cool to see. And then uh, Mobius, Brad, and Loki go back to the TVA, and he's interrogated. And then, you know, they learn where Sylvie is staying. And Sylvie is in a branched timeline at a McDonald's <laughs> working as a worker. And uh, I don't know what year I forgot, actually. But, yeah, she's in a branched timeline uh, working at a McDonald's. And then, you know, Loki talks to her and stuff like that. But she she has no interest in working with the TVA or trying to save the world or whatever. Um, and she just doesn't want to have any relation to the TVA whatsoever or with Loki either. And then you learn that Brad, so the reason why many TVA agents left the TVA in the first episode is because um, they, were on a mi they were on a mission to prune every other branch timeline apart from the TVA, apart from the secret timeline. So yeah, they're on a mission to prune every other timeline apart from the sacred timeline. And uh, like the timeline that they are staying in at that time, 1970, no wait, the other timeline that Sylvie is in would get pruned if they don't do something about it. So Loki and Sylvie fight off some TBA agents in another place. And uh, they're not really able to stop it completely. A lot of timelines get pruned, but like they still, uh, they still manage to save some of them including the timeline that Sylvie was staying in. And then, you know, they go back to the TVA, and then Sylvie leaves with the temp pad of he who, re he who Remains. And, yeah, because, like I said, she has nothing to do with the TVA, and she's not trying to, like, you know, all that baggage and stuff like that. She's just trying to, like, sleep. And, um, yeah, I mean, they're all kind of, like, saddened by the fact that millions of lives have just been lost, like, completely, or billions. Um across the multiverse because of some sinister plot to wipe out a lot of timelines. Uh, and then that's about where it ends. Meanwhile, while this was happening, uh, Obi was trying to fix the timeline and he realized that he needs authentication from Miss Minutes or the temporal aura of he who remains to authorize whatever he was trying to do to fix the timeline. And then that's about where it so yeah, as I said, um, yeah, pretty good episode. I enjoyed it, of course. I don't think it went as in-depth story-wise as just in general. I don't think it could have gone more in-depth story-wise because it fleshed things out a little bit more, which is, of course, needed. So yeah, um, fun episode. Watch it. <laughs> it was good. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see uh, episode three and four because I heard that those episodes are like the best ones, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's about it.